So now we're talking about white balance. White balance is pretty important if you want your shots to look nice. So I use a grey card to check my white balance. I highly recommend that you get a grey card if you possibly can. Most of the time you will shoot in auto white balance and it will look pretty good. The cameras nowadays have really improved on what the auto white balance looks like. However, because I like to shoot manually, I like to lock down everything and that includes my white balance. So in your menu system, go to where it says white balance and let's have a look there. One is auto white balance and self-explanatory that it'll just give you a white balance. After that, you'll have things like incandescent light, you'll have fluoro light, you'll have flash, you'll have a section there where you can put this up near your own camera and it'll take a photo as a reference point and I do that in the studio all the time, and that'll give me my custom white balance. It may have room for more than one custom white balance in your camera. Have a look for that, it is very handy. And then after that, there's a thing called K, and that's Kelvin. And Kelvin is how we measure color temperature. It does have a temperature. So 2000 is warm, really, really warm. It's a candle light and then up to 10,000, that's really cold, and that's a blue, or dark green blue, and so everything in between. Color for daylight, if you walk outside on a nice sunny day, that's 5,500. A flash is between 5,000 and 500, and that's like a white light, and that's as a reference. So. Candlelight 2000, really cool. Daylight, somewhere in the middle. Where would I use it to adjust it? I'll use it. So let's say you have bought the camera or your work has bought the camera and you need to learn photography. You'll come across a situation where someone's at lectern and you need to take their photo while they're giving an address. And you take their photo and there's a screen next to them with information on the screen. And the screen looks really blue. You look at the photo and you think, why does the screen look so blue? And that's because the person at the lectern is probably really orange. And so the camera will see it's a human and it'll make adjustments in auto settings and adjust either for the room where the screen looks good and they look orange or they look good and the screen looks blue. That's why I like to lock things down. I don't want things to change unless I want them to change. In Kelvin, spotlights, they're called a Fresnel. That color temperature is 3200. And then if I shoot them at 3200 and they look good, the screen will look blue. So I'll take a couple of wide shots of the room where the room looks good, and then I'll take a couple of shots of them where they look good, and then there's a balance of both. So white balance is really important. Get on top of the white balance as early as you possibly can to make your photos look really, really nice. You may go to a party and you'll be taking photos and the lighting is all over the place. Uh, and then when your friends look at those images, they'll think, wow, what happened to the colors there? So be aware of color and how to control that. And you'll find that in the white balance section. So you can shoot on manual, you can shoot on auto. It's up to you. It depends on what you're shooting and how important it is. When it starts to become important, take control but don't take control on the day, learn beforehand how to control it. So then when that moment arises, where you really do need to control this situation, you think, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into Kelvin's, or I'm gonna take a shot of this here gray card, and I'm gonna make sure that my white balance is accurate.